Yes, Alan and Glenda, the mother of one of Ken Yell Brown's alleged victims, wants answers, and U.S. Attorney Matthew Schneider acknowledges that for a period of time, Brown was a law enforcement informant, and he says they are trying to determine exactly what happened. Did they know where he was at at all times? Did they know who he was associating with? Did they know what he was doing? If they knew all of these things, if he's working for you, why did my son get killed? Tracy Harrington's 31-year-old son, Lauren Harrington, is the first person Kenyo Brown allegedly killed in what has been described as a killing spree that began in early December and ended days ago. In all, six people gunned down, and Detroit Police Chief James Cray coming out to say that not only was Brown, the accused killer, once an informant to ATF, but in late October, Kenyo Brown became a paid informant for a DEA Detroit Police Task Force. What I'm getting now preliminarily is that our DPD officer assigned to that task force was unaware of these failures or violations of his release. Unaware. Uh, again, had we known uh, this is not a person we would have wanted to use. Chief Craig is talking about Brown's criminal history that includes gun and drug crimes and a messy list of probation violations that has a lot of people asking if he should have been in prison instead of free and listed as an informant until Kenya Brown was suspected in the murders of Kimberly Green and Dorian Patterson. I had a conversation with the U.S. Attorney Matthew Snyder. Uh, we both agreed that it warrants a deeper look into what happened in this case. You come to my house and you tell me why my son was murdered by a man that was working for you. Then I let it rest. And Kenya Brown, we're told, remains hospitalized and we're told his condition is grave. Reporting live outside police headquarters, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.